What's up everyone? It's Joey, Bluff Response, and today we're checking out the Electron Machine Drum Mark II UW. Let's get right into it. All right, we're here with the Machine Drum, the legendary one. This is borrowed from Face Fatal. Check out his music, he's rad. Um, I really think Electron got it right with this machine. It has so much it can do. I'm just getting started with a TRX BD2. We're gonna build from there. Doesn't sound like much yet, but just you wait. Just building it up. This is a tight, tight kick. And we're gonna see just how deep this goes. Listen to that distortion, by the way. Yeah. Sweet. And of course, this is where parameter locks came to be. So every drum has its own filter, which is the bass width style filter. You also have an amplitude modulator, an EQ, and sample rate reduction. That's on every drum. And you also have routings uh, to a distortion. You have reverb. So yeah, I'm gonna route the LFO to the sample rate reduction. Simple kick, now we'll get to a snare. And there's so much in here. You have these like E12 sort of sampled to be sort of like one of those old PCM drum machines, like a Lin drum or something. With re-trigger. This was before the era of probability, so if you want to get more going on your pattern, you have to you have to extend the pattern. Now with there's a device called Mega Command you can get with the new and official firmware that lets you do more, but we don't have that here. Might be cool to check out one day though. We're just gonna get like some basic, super basic shit going, and then I'm gonna get crazy, hopefully. We'll put some hats in from the PI. Actually, first we're gonna try, we got these two. We're gonna try the uh, the new effects machines. We're gonna try the comb filter. Again, some more. We'll edit, we'll add some delay to that. Now 
Nice. And some reverb too. And the machine drum also has this master compressor, which in my opinion is really important. And you can get extreme distortion with just like that. Now let's start building it up more. We're gonna add another kick from the PI. I love the PI stuff. I wish the PI stuff would come back maybe in the syntax or something. Yeah, go to mute mode. Nice. Let's get some hats in. Use the FM hats. Or some parameter locks. Mute that comb filter truck. All right, now we're getting some more. Wasn't feeling that comb filter thing too much. Bring the PI snare in. Zero in on that. There we go. We're actually going to edit that uh, reverb a bit. To be gated. Now we'll ring everything back. Nice. Now the cool thing is, is this machine sort of invented the the idea that would spawn the octa track and it had these ram machines you could load and sort of resample audio live and take your boring-ish pattern and make it really alive so one of the cool things about this machine is this kind of invented the sort of the idea for the octa track by having these ram machines which were like a buffer you could record things into so i'm going to set that up the first thing is you need a ram record machine on the first track and a ram play machine on the track following it so i've got a ram record machine and a ram play machine we're gonna unmute those and now i'm gonna sequence the ram play machine i've got it set to record just at the beginning of the bar you see and now we're gonna do ram play you can hear coming in we'll lower that compressor a bit Start playing with. Got to mix it right. Different start points, end points, retrig. Now we'll go to mute mode. That's our buffer. <laughs> what a mess. I love it.
But of course, you gotta like get in there, mix the levels a bit. Got a meat mod. Well, edit the delay. You can get sick with that to look. Insane, but we're not even scratching the surface yet. Now check this out. So uh, we've done all that. That's all fine, and Danny. I'm gonna save this kit which is just a fucking hellish hellscape of nightmare sound. We'll save that. Okay, that kit is saved. Now, we're gonna do this. You have these control machines, and this is really where the machine drum goes to the next level. We're gonna slow the tempo down. What the fuck are we listening to, by the way? Let's lower some stuff. We'll move some tricks. Lower that decay. Insane. Where's... Well, I was wondering where that feedback was coming from, but that's so so unpredictable, this machine. Alright, we've got this super basic ass beat. Now with the ram play. Mute it again. Pretty insane. All right. Now you can put these control machines. We'll go here to kit, go down to the control machines, and you can do stuff like do the compressor, the EQ, the reverb, etc. So now you see on the synthesis page, I have the reverb set as a track. And the delay, so I could just start press pressing triggers down. Yeah, <laughs> whoops. Uh, so one thing you gotta pay attention to is there's this classic and extended mode on the side here, uh, and you have to keep it extended that parameter locks. I didn't even notice it was in classic, but that's fun because you can turn them off too. So like, I have this reverb mutation, and then it and then it's off. I must have nudged that at some point. Anyway, we're gonna keep going. Control all. Gonna place more. I just love the way that reverb is going though, huh? Now we're gonna do the uh, compressor, which, oh boy. Watch. <laughs> pretty, pretty nutty. Bring it up.
Now we're gonna save the kid again. And we're gonna put a control all machine down. And what this does is literally control every track at once. And I wish this feature was another electron things. Totally out there. Like as a drone weirdness maker, pretty, pretty fucking insane. And then here's the cool part. Got that weird going and then he goes like this. Back. There's a lot going on here. What a fucking beat, huh? Sick. <laughs> That's just three sounds. <laughs> this is rowdy. Fucking Christ. Nice. And it's 16 drums. Holy fuck. <laughs> We're gonna put down an open hat with the E12. Sick. insane now we're gonna go back to our control all track or rather we're gonna put a new one down because i think i didn't save it and now check this out filtering our whole beat <laughs> Fuck. 
fucking insane. Electron Machine Drum Mark II. So that was extremely sick and definitely on the noisier, heavy rhythmic noise side. Uh, I gotta say, the Machine Drum is just so powerful, and I think there's something special about the early Electrons that is missing from the newer ones in terms of depth and power. Like, you can do so much with it in terms of control, uh, manipulating all the sounds, the RAM machines, the way everything works together, it's more of like a digital modular. There's even some stuff I didn't cover, like you can use any LFO from any track to modulate any other track. Uh, all the new stuff in the X firmware, the Mega Command, if, if you have one, like it can just do so much and the sound is supreme. It's super special, crunchy, digital, like metallic fibers colliding in your brain. It's like, oh, so special. I used to have one and I deeply regret selling it and I'm jealous if you have one. Uh, it's just untouchable and honestly I was thinking believe it or not that maybe it is better than the rhythm uh, which is hard to say hard to admit because <laughs> I love the rhythm but wow it is so good it's just that good and it's the only machine that I would possibly give that title to um, with that said samples of this jam and every other jam I do are gonna be on my patreon and there's a lot of other cool stuff on there please join me support uh, there's gonna be affiliate links in the video description and the top comments of course you can't buy a machine drum through those because they're not available but if you buy any gear through those it'll help me out and give me a kickback uh, don't forget to smash like and subscribe here peace out until next time